it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Today I found um, this file that I want to work on. It's the Dunk T-shirt. This is something that I would have totally seen when I first started and then realized, well, I don't want the word dunk. I want the word mom or something like that and wouldn't be able to change it. So let's work on that. This is under great Cricut Maker projects for beginners, right? And it's, I mean, it is for beginners, but sometimes I felt really frustrated with the beginner project because I felt like I literally could not make a single change without it being like a four hour project. <clears throat> so anyway, let's click on this one. Um, and the thing that I hated too was like, there just weren't any instructions on how to change it. Like sometimes it would be a monogram. Clearly that's not my monogram, like my name. Um, but anyway, enough of the complaining. <laughs> Let's click on customize. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do it. And it makes me so sad that I couldn't do it before. All right. So the first thing is, um, this is one whole file, right? Like you can see it's not broken up into, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Cause then it would be six line items. It's one piece. So the whole thing, everything is just one. So that means that some of these items we can easily contour out. So let's just say you want to do, um, your daughter's name or something like that. Okay. So let's do that. Um, all right. So first thing is we got to get rid of the word dunk, right? So you just go to contour, <clears throat> excuse me. And we're going to contour out the D, the U, the N and the K. Oops. And I forgot that little thing, but look how easy that was, right? That's not how I would have done it when I first started. <laughs> Um, let's get rid of this little, little insert of the D. All right. So now we have a blank or a full basketball, right? Um, let's say your daughter's name is cat. Okay. So here we go. And you want it. Well, let's say you want it to go up and down. If you want it to go up and down, I would do it this way. Um, so I would just hit enter and then go to the next line. Oops and capital T. Oh, geez. Oh my. <laughs> All right. So here it is, right? Um, let me just change this. I'm going to change this to orange just for a split second, just so that we can see what we have here. So here's cat. Let's say you want it. Um, you know, you wanted a different font. Um, a popular font is varsity. So I'm just going to bring in varsity because it just reminds me of, um, anytime that there's anything athletic. Oh my gosh, <laughs> my spelling today. Um, you have this, um, so let's just say we're going to do this one. All right. So this is what, okay, there we go. Like, wait a minute. It didn't change. All right. So let's make this smaller. So it fits in there, right? And this kind of stinks because her name is three letters. Um, let's pick a name that's easier to deal with right now. Let's do Matt. Because we can do two letters in each, the top and the bottom, okay? So let's say you wanted to do something like this. So when you're slicing, because we want to slice this out, right? We want that empty space, just like the word dunk was in there. But the problem is right now, our letters, first of all, we've got multiple. And then also our letters are, um, let me see if it actually, it might let us do it. Hold on. Let me see. Oh yeah, it does. So our letters, let, let me undo. I don't know what happened to that image. It just disappeared on me, even though it's right here. Oh, Okay, my, there we go. Um, okay, so let's resize this for a second and make sure we like how we see everything, right? So you can see that the text over here under varsity, <clears throat> there are two layers, but the green layer we're not seeing, just in case you wanna see it. So you could have two, you know, um, if you were doing cardstock or even if you were doing vinyl, there is an option. Sometimes you just need to look over here to see what your options are. Um, this one, like I said earlier, was it was not visible, but if you just click on it to be visible, you have two layers. But all right, let's just say you wanted this one. Now what you would do is 
you, I would center it. So I would grab these two items and I would go to align and I want it to be centered horizontally, I think. Okay, and did you see it adjusted a little bit? So anytime that I'm slicing something out where it needs to be precise at that moment, I'm gonna go to a line and make sure that it's where it should be. All right, so now we have these two items and look, you can slice. So you can, you can only slice two items at one time. So in this case, it's gonna be the orange basketball and the text. A lot of times what happens is people have, um, they have two text or the basketball, let's say if the basketball had another color. So they think it's the basketball and their name, but the other, one of the items may have multiple layers or multiple pieces to it. You can only slice two items at one time and you will know because it's grayed out, but right now it's not grayed out. So let's click on slice. And when you slice, what happens is you get your slice results. And so you get multiple layers here. So we got to get rid of our layers. So you can see like here, here is our original name. And then this is what was sliced out. So you can see this is taken out. And now we have this, how cute is this, right? That was like what, five minutes. Um, and then let's say you want to do the number. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. So now we don't need these two things, right? Because we're going to, it's sliced out and then you can have these layers in. It would look super cute. Let's say you want the name Matt to be a different color. We can do that. So what you wanna do is you want to duplicate this because, hold on here, actually. Let me undo this for a second. Let's get back to our slice results, okay? All right, so this is what we have, right? And we have, this basketball though is one item. The name, the basketball, everything is as is, right? But let's say you didn't want, you wanted the, the letters inside to be a different color. What you can do is this, you can go to contour and you can just select everything that you don't want to be seen. So we're getting rid of that and we need to get rid of that little thing. So now you have an empty, oh, actually, do we even want this? We don't. Um, let's go back to contour. We don't want anything inside, right? <clears throat> so we want, oh my God, let me go back to contour. Hold on. Let's just, it's so hard to click over here. Um, let me see what's selected. This, there we go. There, now it's completely empty. <clears throat> Excuse me, ah. All right, now I'm gonna take one of these items and go to contour. And I don't want the outline, I'm gonna hide all. What I want is the inside, right? So I want this, 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 and this. And I even want, I think I want these two. Oh, I have the opposite. So hold on, let me go to contour. That's not the M that I wanted. So let me get rid of that M. Um, oh, I need to get rid of that. There we go. There. So now this will be on the inside, right? But let's say you wanted this to be the school colors and this is, um, I don't know, they're orange and black. Okay, we'll get rid of this. Now let's say he's number 12. So we're gonna go back to text and we're still on varsity. So we're gonna hit the pound sign and number 12. And let's say we wanted it in one of these little corners, right? maybe something like this, that looks good, right? So now it's still the orange and this, right? Um, but look, if I went and I grabbed this, we can't slice because I also grabbed the black. The black is three layers. So you can see it's one layer here, two, three. I selected three items and that's why I can't slice. So as long as your cursor only picks up two items, I'm not gonna go anywhere near that black, okay? So my cursor is gonna grab these two items only and see I can slice so 
you can leave everything as is as long as your cursor doesn't pick it up it's not so part of the selection then and only two items are selected then you're good all right so let's do the same thing with this oops just gonna move that out of the way all right so here we have this right um and let's say you want to do the same thing with the 12 you wanted it to be black so you can just go and contour and we can hit in here, we can hit the pound sign, the little one, the one, and the two. So we're removing those items from this image. Okay, I always mess this up. <laughs> let's go to contour, let's see what's still selected. We don't want that pound sign. It must be what is not. It's got to be this one, right? Let's see. There we go. All right. So then now this, I want it in black first, but I want the opposite. I want the insides, right? So I'm going to go to contour and I want the inside. Oops, it's not letting me select it. I want this, this, and this, and I want, okay, I think I got everything. No, that's the big one. I don't want that. Go to contour, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> Let me hide all. Okay, so I want the little one. Here's the little one and I want the littlest two and I want my little pound sign. Okay, I think this is it. Is this it? Oh, good Lord. Okay, so my pound sign is still wrong. <laughs> contour. Okay, so it's not don't want this big one. No. Is that what I don't want? Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I am so bad at looking at these things. Okay. I don't want that. And I don't want that. Do you get what I'm trying to do here? All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna contour this. I'm just gonna get rid of this silly little box. Okay, wait. So I want this one. I don't want this one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to contour. Why am I so so bad at this. How is that possible? Okay. I don't want this either then. And I don't want, I must want, is this what I want? Okay. I just lost the whole thing on this one. Let's see if I can do it on this one. I'm going to hide all. What I want is I want this, this one and I want that, right? Is that what I want? No, that's not what I want. Oh my God, why am I so bad? Um, contour, all right. Hide all, what do I want? I... So these are things that I want. I want this one. No, that doesn't make sense. Why am I not able to select this? I feel like this is what I want. Okay, I'm giving up on this, but you know what you, you know what you need to do, right? I don't know what's wrong with me today. I can't figure this out. But that's okay, let's say let's pretend we have the right pound sign. You know what I'm going to do? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit the pound sign here. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to not want that. Oh, maybe that's what it is. It's too big? I don't know. I can't figure out that pound sign. I apologize. But let's say, let's pretend we have the right pound sign in there, okay? What you want, but let's say now you, you made your son, but you want mom. So let's duplicate this because you want everything the same 
assuming that pound sign. My goodness, I don't I don't know what to tell you right now. All right, we're going to um, let's see. <clears throat> let's get rid of these items because we don't want Matt. We want mom. Oh wait a minute, we do want the twelve though. But so we want it like this, right? But instead of matte, we're gonna contour, and we're gonna um, hide the M, the A, the T, and the T. So it's solid again, right? But this time we want mom, and we want it in a cursive font. So let's go to text. Let's change this out to something that I know we have. Um, oops, where did it go? So this is one of my favorite fonts. It's Hannah Berry Koo from Creative Fabrica, and that's not spelled correctly. Okay, it's a great font because it's still, it has that whimsy feel, but it's not delicate. Um, all right, so I'm gonna type in mom. Now, with cursive fonts in Design Space, they never connect, okay? So what I like to do is if I'm just doing the word mom, no big deal, I will ungroup and then I will manually move this over and connect it the way I want it connected. So it's here and you think you're done, but you're not done. You have one more step and I'm gonna show you why. Cause I'm gonna change this to a lighter color where you can see the problem. And then I'm gonna bring this, hold on. Oh, you still can't really see it in this color. Arrange, send to the front. Okay, I'm gonna change it to another color. One that we can really see the problem. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Why can't I see this? Um, wow, I haven't welded it together, but what is the deal? How come it looks so good? Um, arrange, send to the front. I'm really puzzled right now, hold on. Okay, here, maybe I can do it like this so you can see. Even though it would be one color, what would happen is the M would cut out and it would cut this and then the O would cut out. So it would look, hold on, let me bring in another. It would look like this. It would look really bad. You may not notice it when it's all one color because I was having a hard time even trying to see the, the differences, but this is what it would look like, but all in one color. So what you want to do is you want to grab the whole thing and you want to weld it. Now it will cut as one whole piece. And you know that because it went from three line items, the M, the O, the M, to just mom, okay? All right, so here we have this and we want it in, let's say you want to do it in black also. All right. Um, thanks dog. <laughs> um, this will probably be easy to read if it was in one orange section. So like this. Okay. So I would grab these two and slice. So you can either have it like this, so the word mom would be whatever um, color t-shirt, or you can layer it and put in the mom here and put in put back the 12 over here. The only thing that you can't do is you can't create an outline. Like this one is inside, right? This one will fill the whole blank. There's the, if you wanted to do something like this, we would have to do another program. I would use like Inkscape for instance, and then that way create an offset. So you would slice out the offset so it would be bigger, and then you would leave the word mom in so there would be a little outline just like this. So you would have the shirt, and then you would, ha or you would have the vinyl, you would have the shirt, and then you would have the word mom on the inside. But you, you can't do that in design space. You can do that with certain fonts like Varsity where you have the different layers, but you wouldn't be able to do it straight out like this. But since we're beginners, that's who I have on the 
watching the videos right now, right? So I'm not gonna show you Inkscape. If you wanna learn how to do it, I have many videos to show you how to do it. It is very simple though. But I know that I was unwilling to use any other um, apps <laughs> because it's so hard already, right? So anyway, let me know what you think. I'm sorry I could not get this to work, but it's in here. Let me try it one more time. Um, let's see, so I'm going to, well, I got rid of it. So let me see if I can add it back. So maybe because I didn't do it right, I don't know anymore. No, I just got rid of it. I'm losing my head. I'm not gonna show you how to do that because I'm gonna just cry right now. <laughs> All right, let me know what you think. If you wanna see another ready to make project, I mean, just let me know. Or if you have uh, something specific to a birthday or a party, I am here to help you. Just send me an email, post your comments, and then you can always send me all the additional details to Anne, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, bye guys.